reference dates in energy balances. Energy balances are very common calculations undertaken by chemical engineers. Before you try to do any yourself, it is very important to know that you first need to specify the reference state of the enthalpies or internal energies that you'll be using when doing energy balances. This video lesson examines why it is necessary to specify such a reference state in the first place. Introductory texts on chemical engineering commonly state that it's not possible to know the absolute value of the internal energy or enthalpy. And as such, the values appearing in calculations, tables of figures, are in fact only differences in internal energy or enthalpy, calculated with respect to some pre-established reference state. In other words, when it is not possible to define the zero point of a variable, as in the case of many state variables, all values have to be calculated as differences with respect to some fixed reference state. To illustrate this, we consider the following useful analogy. Imagine for a moment that you lived on a mountain about halfway to the top, with spectacular views of a lake below. Right up top of the mountain, there is also a forest. Say a good friend of yours, Jamie, lived on the same mountain, but just on the opposite side, with a view to the sea. Your house is 80 meters above the lake, and Jamie's 50 meters above sea level. Now, to get from your place to Jamie's, you'd have to traverse a difference in altitude of 230 meters. Based on the given information, at what altitude is your house located? This question can only be answered meaningfully if there is a fixed altitude to which all other altitudes are referred. Let's consider a number of possible reference altitudes. Your house is at an altitude of 80 meters above the lake. In this case, the surface of the lake serves as the reference or zero point of altitude. Your house is 230 meters above Jamie's. Now, Jamie's house serves as the zero point of altitude. Your house is 280 meters above sea level. The level of the surface of the sea now represents zero altitude. Your house is 120 meters below forest level. In this case, the edge of the forest right up top of the mountain represents zero altitude, and so on. All these definitions of the altitude of your house are correct. They only differ from each other because the reference altitude has been changed in each case. In other words, the zero position on the altitude scale has been shifted in each case. This is the fundamental reason why it is necessary to specify the actual reference altitude used to locate your house. Defining reference states from which to measure enthalpies and internal energies, on the other hand, requires more complete information. There are four properties that need to be specified in order to do so. They are the identity of the substance, the phase it's in, its temperature, and its pressure. The concept of reference state in the context of energy balances will be further illustrated in the other video lessons in this series, titled how to do energy balances in the absence of chemical reaction and how to do energy balances in the presence of chemical reaction. Another important concept with relevance to our discussion is that of state function. We return for a moment to the example of the mountain, which again serves as a useful analogy. Notice that the difference in altitude between Jamie's and your house is always the same regardless of the choice of reference altitude. It is even independent of the path taken to get from one house to the other. Some paths might be longer and others shorter, but what matters is the difference in altitude. Hence, the difference in altitude between the houses in the drawing is 230 meters, regardless of whether the zero or the reference point is taken to be at sea level, at the surface of the lake, or at the edge of the forest. This self-evident truth immediate, immediately carries over to enthalpy and internal energy differences. The enthalpy and internal energy differences between two distinct states stay the same regardless of choice of reference state, the zero on the scale, and is also independent of the path chosen to compute them. It is for this reason that both enthalpy and internal energy are called state functions.